Hello, hello, back again. Ciao a tutti. Today we are here in Cremona in my workshop and there are lots of questions and people want to know and everybody is, um, I think the right word is keen to know the truth about everything, which tailpiece, what fine tuner, what end pin, what string, what model, what wood, everything. They all believe there is only one truth, but the reality, especially on instruments where there are so, so many um, subjects and matters and things are, uh, m have to match together, there are too many um, uh, options. So at the very end, you have your instrument in your hand and for every instrument out there, things are a little bit more different. Right now, I read this book about, um, you, you always see my belly here, you know, so I'm always looking forward to be, to improve myself even with food. So this book about from Bas uh, Cast or what it is, or cast base, I don't know how you pronounce it, the, the, the diet compass or something about. It's a very interesting book because he goes very, very specific about everything in our nutrition into detail. And on the other hand, you would expect now comes the diet and exactly the opposite. Actually, everybody, each of us is, is uh, elaborating the food he's eating in a different way because of the past, because of the constitution and whatever. Tradition, food, availability and whatever, preference. And same actually, while I'm reading this book, it's not that I don't earn now on this book, even so I will leave the, 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 the link down below and I think it's good. I, I read it in, 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 in uh, German. But English in Italian the title is completely ugly, but this, the book is always good. Uh, and exactly in violin making, the same thing actually is happening with our instruments. There are for every single matter, my whole YouTube channel actually is about this, and you're keen to know everything about it, right? But when it comes to, um, let's say, we had this week here a musician with his uh, tailpiece. This tailpiece was out of maple and it was carved underneath, very light. And I was convinced that if it is a, a full tailpiece, it will sound better and everything. We resolved a lot of things, but it was not how I expected. And the same thing was actually with the chin rest, you know. I was convinced after I made with Edmond Basha this uh, video about the chin rest that ebony is more straightforward, more focused on every instrument. There was that very day on, on that one instrument. But that doesn't mean that it's on all instruments. It could be that on your instrument at home, it's completely the opposite. And so, I continue making these videos, but I just want to point out that you always have to try to be as from the bird perspective and see it from far away what's going on. Yeah? As soon as you change something, something is changing. That's true. It's always changing. Everything is changing. But just try to see it a little bit from a little bit more far away without being involved, okay? On our cellos, the same thing is actually a big issue since I'm making instruments about the tailpiece, okay? Now, here on all these instruments, you have here, this here is, let's say, a Scala Perfetta, and I put it on a economic carbon fiber end pin. You see on this video a black stick and very likely when it is black like this, it, it, if you touch it, it's a little bit fresh, but it's not cold like metal, okay? That's carbon fiber. It has a huge impact on the sound and the whole world is now looking on carbon fiber and pin. And as soon everybody has the carbon fiber, then they pop out with a new one and then they say, hey, I got this steel end pin and you put it in and 
indeed it sounds different, right? And that's why actually on a Scala Perfetta usually I put on a metal and pin like this. I have no idea where they make them. It's, uh, let's say it is just a very classic one. Maybe it comes from India, maybe it comes from, I don't know where, Bulgaria, Poland, um, Czech Republic, I don't know, yeah? I'm just happy that I can purchase them for pretty little and they do actually a good work. And indeed, even with these metal ones, there are some on Stradivari cellos, usually this one is out of brass, very tough screw is much better than this one. And they cost really good money, or even Ulsa, they make them out of metal and they have a completely different sound than this one. So, what I just want to say, metal, is not metal, okay? So you have to try it. And there's so many, even when it comes to an end pin, there are many parts which have to fit together. And then the length as well is an a, is a, uh, important detail. How long it is, what kind of metal, if it is full or if it's a tube. There are some metal end pins which are even um, measured and then they measure them and then they drill some holes. These are probably the end pins which cost the most because there's a huge part of, of research for every single end pin. So you pay the time of the people who are measuring it and figuring out where they have to drill a hole in order that it's vibrating best. And the best actually, if you want to know how your cello is sounding, is just that you put it away and not only inside because even if it is inside, this part is vibrating again and is consuming your energy you're putting with your bow on the strings. So, it's not a small detail, okay? Now, it could be that your cello sounds better with a very, very cheap metal one than with a super expensive carbon fiber or even a 10 times more expensive one out of bronze or carbon or kefla, uh, I don't know, high-tech material. Every instrument is reacting different on the pieces which are mounted and fitted on that. Um, now, I just talk here in this video and I don't go to show, but if you let me know if you want to listen to the differences and then we maybe search for a cello where the metal one is better than the carbon fiber, you just leave me a link below. Now, there's just another tiny detail. When you come to my workshop, you see these cellos, if you're lucky. Because this is extraordinary that they have so many instruments ready to be played, but I'm pretty proud because you have a uh, linea Maki, no, Linea Maki in this very moment, we are now, maybe we're finishing one over there, but now there's no Linea Maki here, but they're a master and Scala Perfetta, a Scala Perfetta Strat, uh, Montagnana, and then we have a Ruggeri and a Strat and a Montagnana, so it's a pretty good choice and then you can compare. But on our master instruments, we always um, fit a specific end pin and that is the Bender carbon fiber. Okay, looks like this and if you're searching for the screw here you don't find it because you have like a wheel here you have to twist it like this then it makes and then you can take it out and twist it like this, yeah? That's actually what I love to put on for a very simple reason, because this one, when you block it, it is nicely centered, very straight, and when you block it, it stays straight. While if it has a side screw, the whole thing is a little bit always twisting, so you open this hole here on the ribs and the lower block and you adjust it for a specific 
end pin and when you change the end pin then actually it could be that the hole is a little bit different and that's something I don't like that much and I love it when it's all nicely perfectly lined up and that's why I put on the bender. Here you have this one with the screw on the side that's similar like the Bogaro Clemente end pin. Yeah? He has also this screw and this is here dancing and then to fix it you push it only from one side yeah and by pushing it to one side can you I don't know if you can see that it is a little bit at the very last moment if I do like this it is moving a little bit yeah so when I fit this one I have the screw on but that doesn't mean that it is actually straight okay it's just a tiny tiny inter uh, but since I have more than one glass I see all the tiny differences on a YouTube, uh, YouTube channel like this a video is difficult to show you but it is actually a little bit sideways going like this and I don't like that um, that's the main reason I use the Bender uh, carbon fiber um, end pin and and then I love it that it's made in Germany. If you look at it, it's just, you get it in a tube. You don't have to buy it from me, by the way, but you can buy, but then it's a problem that you don't know. I just actually want to show you how the whole thing works and to show you how the whole stuff, you can have it in different um, sizes here of the cone. And this one has a very, uh, fine thing to screw it inside and it's kept nice straight in this end pin and uh, block hole of the cello. The stick itself I usually I take off this rubber here in order that I uh, can always change it and put it out and you can quick put in a different material into that fixture to, to keep it tight. I think it's 10 millimeters. So it's very uh, common now since they have already so many um, end pins. And they have also different materials. This is now a carbon fiber, I guess a tube. They have it also as a uh, all through material. And they have it in different metals now. And prices go up, you know, there's no end, no a never ending story. And I don't want actually to be now a, a end bin dealer or, or researcher. You have your cello and you can research. And if you come to my shop, you can, we can check it out a little bit. One thing which is a little bit more quicker to adjust and which also gives you the, uh, shows you how important every single detail actually of the end pin uh, matters to the final result. We're now talking about a cello where everything is equilibrated, already adjusted, you feel that it's good responding, it has a big tone, you're happy with the character of the tone, you actually you have everything you want and you just want to see how it Im the impact is then you can take off this screw here of the of the of the end pin and you can exchange this screw to a brass or a bronze yeah messing means brass in german yes yeah, comes from germany from i take it from uh, fiedler from uh, berlin a good friend of mine and here we have it in bronze bronze yeah and you would not imagine the impact only the screw of this bender end pin makes on the final sound of your of, of the cello yeah and uh, just let me know if you want to listen to that difference and in case it is so that you want to listen what Edgar is telling here then just write me something and even better just put a, the push button and say that you love my channel and that you are um, signed up to my channel. I don't know, how do you say it in English? Sign up? Yeah, sign up. It's a sign of, of hey, it's good what you're doing. 
just a, some movement, you know, just, just a sign of life of your side. And then if at least 15 people say, yeah, I want to listen to what you're talking about. Then we have here cellist playing and we listen to how different this whole thing is. Yeah. Thanks for your reaction. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.